Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow on your craft. Now, today I'm gonna be answering the question, should I use Song Trader for music distribution? All right. When it comes to Song Trader, Song Trader is actually a really, really good company. All right. Now, Song Trader is primarily known for music licensing or music syncing. If you don't know what that is, I did a video not too long ago on what music licensing is. Go ahead and click on the link above and watch that video first if you don't know what music licensing is. All right. Now, when it comes to Song Trader as a music licensing company, Company. they're pretty good they're one of the better ones that I know of all right so it's definitely an option when you're looking at syncing and music monetization but song trader actually does offer music distribution as well which begs the question should I use them for my music distribution as well all right well I actually looked into it and I saw that they have a few different options and honestly their options aren't that bad but I'm gonna go over each one of them with you starting with the first one song trader starter all right so first and foremost as you can see on the bottom the most important thing is that it's free all right so this is a good option especially when you're starting out and you know you you don't have money really to you know pay an annual fee all right because a lot of distribution companies have annual fees this this option actually has no annual fee however you don't keep a hundred percent of your distribution royalties they actually keep 10 percent of the royalties you keep 90 all right this is actually very similar to tunecore's light option it's free to sign up with you could do the distribution but they're gonna take a cut out of the distribution, all right? Now, if you're one of those people like myself who want 100% of music distribution, this would not be the option for you, all right? The option for you, first and foremost, would probably be the light option, all right? With the light option, this is the first option that you can have that'll give you 100% music distribution. Now, as you can see on the bottom, for the cost of this one, you're looking at $20 a year. This is actually also not that bad. I mean, two of the two of the ones that I recommend are Ditto and Distro Kid, and both of those are also twenty dollars a year. All right, so you're basically looking at the same cost with this. Now, the only difference between Song Trader and the other two is Song Trader actually has the sync licensing and the uh, music monetization at the 60%, but you could get that 60% with the free option as well. So you could either do Song Trader for everything or you could do DistroKid for the distribution and Song Trader for the syncing, all right? Which is actually the option I'm doing now. Now, if you're one of those people and you're thinking, is there a way I could get a higher percent on the syncing and the music monetization? Because that's what Song Trader is for, is for the music licensing, for the syncing. There is a third option, all right? And that option is the pro option with the pro option yes fifty dollars per year you can actually get 80 percent of your sync licensing which is really really good this is the most that you could get from song trader by the way so there's not a 90 percent option 100 percent option the highest is 80 all right you get 80 they get 20 all right and what i like about this option is that you could actually pay it monthly if you can't afford that 50 dollars a year so you could pay five dollars a month However, $5 a month times 12 months is $60, right? So you actually would save $10 by just doing the annual, all right? But it's really good because you get the unlimited distribution, just like, just like the other option, but you actually keep 80%, which is really, really good, all right? So to be honest with you, overall, all of their options are pretty good, all right? I don't see anything that seems, you know, too much too expensive or too cheap all right and it seems that they they offer most of the main stores i think ditto and distro kit offer a slightly more stores but song trader do have the main ones as in the apple music you know the spotify which are the two biggest ones but they do have the google play they do have the deezer and they have all, um a lot of those other things as well i believe they have title as well all right but again DistroKid and Ditto do offer more stores, all right? Not too much more stores, but they do offer it. So all in all, is Song Trader good for distribution at face value? Yes. Now, I don't know, you know, the behind the scenes stuff and everything like that, like I do know with some other distribution companies, but as far as, you know, the pricing, as far as what they offer for the pricing, it's not a bad deal. So if you're wondering to do everything through Song Trader as far as your syncing and your distribution, 
go for it, all right? But always keep in mind that you could always do distribution somewhere else and just do syncing here. Because again, syncing here is 60% with the free option, all right? So you can literally do $20 at DistroKid for your distribution, do the free option and get your 60% syncing from here. It's the same thing as if you were just to do everything on Song Trader here, all right? So if you're already with Ditto or DistroKid, Stay with them and just do the free option with Song Trader. If you want to do everything through Song Trader, I understand. Some people, they just like everything at one place. I get it, all right? But either way, that's, that's the pricing. Like I said, it's a good option, all right? Thank you for tuning in and enjoy. Peace. Try to eat.